What is happening guys? Welcome back. So yet again, another episode on the Mark 1 Golf that isn't here. Um, so we loaded that up yesterday uh, on Sunday and then went and dropped it off yesterday at Shine Supply who are working their magic on the paint. And he sent me some teasers last night. This thing is going to look absolutely killer. It was quite, not impressed, but he says the paint wasn't as bad as he expected it to be, which is a good thing. We've measured it and there's plenty of paint on there, so he's got plenty to work with and hopefully we're going to get back an absolutely stunning car with a great paint job on it. So, what I want to move on to next is sorting out a set of wheels for the car. So, the wheels that came on the car are replicas. They are BBS mock replicas. They're not the nicest. I can't run them wheels because, yeah, I'd, I'd probably get a lot of abuse if I went to a show with those wheels on. So, we're not going to be running them. I've not got a massive budget, as I haven't had with the entire project, and the project wouldn't be anywhere near where it is without the help from everyone that's helped so far with parts. Um, so, racking my brains as to what to do. And then I was flicking through Facebook Marketplace and stumbled upon a set of wheels that seemed very, very cheap, and I wasn't sure we were going to go on. So I bought them, bought some adapters as well, because they are a different stud pattern, offered them all on the car, and I think they're going to look absolutely killer. So, the wheels that I bought for the car are these. So these are 16 by 6.5, and a half, um, 5 by 100, two-piece BBS splits that come on the Mark IV Golf, I believe. Um, and I just thought they're going to look pretty cool. There is a picture, I can't find it. There's a picture that I saw a while ago online of a car, of a Mark I sat on a set of these. And I was just like, yes, yes, they work. So we've gone for them. Four wheels, four pretty new. I think two of them are about six months old and two of them are about two years old. Michelin tyres, come on up. Now, we're not going to be using them because they're massive and they're not very nice. But always a bonus. We're going to put them up for sale and get them out of the way. So we've bought them wheels, paid 90 quid for four wheels. Started stripping them because everyone was like, you're never, ever going to be able to get them to pieces. You, they've been together for that long. You're never going to get them to pieces. Three of the wheels came apart straight away. I used an M8 spline bit in it. Hit the end of it with a hammer a few times to sort of shock the bolt because the wheels are alloy. The bolts are titanium, so the two different metals sort of react and bind together. Shock the bolt. All came apart absolutely perfect. Fourth wheel, which is that one that I've just shown you on there has been powder coated as a complete wheel. I tried undoing two bolts and snapped two bolts, then tried undoing two more and rounded those two off. So we gave up with that. Went on eBay, found another wheel for, I think it was 50 quid with another with a tire on delivered. Um, so we ordered that. So as it stands there, I owe me 140 pound at the minute. I've got them sat down here in some trays because the idea was gonna be, let's do the whole process from start to finish. Let's strip, let's break them down. Let's strip the paint off. Let's then clean them up and do whatever. So I went out and bought some paint stripper, tried it on one, and we've got this one. It's 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 coming off. We've started to started to strip it back, but getting into all the grooves and everything is just it's not the easiest. And then we thought, right, well we'll get them to a point, then we'll put them in the sandblast cabinet, and we'll just blast them off a bit. That sandblast cabinet basically laughed at me as I was trying to get the paint off. So yeah, we've given up with that idea, and I've messaged my mate Jared at Fixer Wheel over in Loughborough and said. I need your help. Can I want I want to paint them myself? I want to clean them all up myself. Can I come over and can you or we strip them for me? So I've got a bare metal set of wheels that I can then work with. He said, yeah, not a problem. So we're gonna throw these into the cart now um, and head over to get these acid dipped and then potentially a little blow over with the sandblaster to key the surface up. I've also purchased some seat bases for the new seats because we've got the Fiesta Aris turbo seats that are going in it that are off being trimmed as we speak. Um, seat bases to mount Universal Runners to. We've got them. We're going to throw them in the car and go drop them at the powder coaters as well this morning. So it's going to be a bit of a driving about day. Um, but the plan with the wheels is going to be faces are going to be painted a colour that will reveal paint. Pretty obvious. Um, and then the lips. I'm going to polish the lips. I'm going to mirror it, polish the lips. Now there's a bit of pitting in some of these. Um, so we're going to have to go through, I'm going to go through with quite a rough sandpaper. I'm going through 120 at the minute to try and cut them back and get them flat. And then we'll work up through the grades of sandpaper, sanding up to probably 
think it's probably going to be like 1500 2000 grit um, and then we'll go over it with a three stage metal polishing kit that i've bought as well and we'll get the lips mirror polish polished we're going to paint the barrels either black or anthracite faces of color bolt them all together with the bolts all cleaned up and hopefully they'll look nice we're running 15 mil adapters on the front and 20s on the rear, so quite an aggressive fitment um, and then we'll be running 16540 Nankangs on it as well, which I'm yet to order. But anyway, let's get these in the car and head over and see what Jared's got to say about stripping these. So, next day, um, I've been over and dropped the wheel faces over with Jared at Fixer Wheel in Loughborough. Um, and he stripped the faces on them, left the barrels here thinking, yeah, we'll, we'll strip them. We'll just get an angle grinder on them with a, a, a wire wheel and we'll sand them. No, you won't. It was, they were powder coated and the powder hadn't gone off. So every time you touched it with any bit of kit, it furred up, clogged everything up. So I've been over and I've picked the wheel faces up that are now stripped um, and I've left him the barrels and he's dipping the barrels now to try and get um, all the powder and everything off them. Unfortunately, we have spotted that one of the barrels has got a crack in the front lip. Um, so I need to try and find a new barrel. And I also need to try and find a new face as well because this one is heavily, heavily corroded. Um, but we haven't really got a choice at the moment. Um, I need these done and sorted in like but this week. Um, so... We're going to high build prime the hell out of that wheel and hope we can get rid um, of it. And the wheel, this has got the cracked barrel. I've got to, I'm taking that over to see Bob at the machine shop, which OG viewers might remember that I've had welding lessons with him in Hinkley. Basically runs a gym subscription style workshop where you pay a, an amount a month and you can go in and weld. There's lathes, milling machines powder coating facilities, all sorts of different stuff. I'll put a link in the description to him as well, because it's a great little idea. So we're taking that over there on Friday for him to weld that up, then we can dress that um, and it will go on the car for now, but I will be trying to find a new barrel and new face. I just can't find any that are less than four hours away in the country at the moment. So what I want to do now is jump on um, and get a little bit of etch primer on these wheel faces. We can then bake that, let that go off, um, and then we can start throwing a little bit of high build primer on. So, let's fire up the GoPro and start throwing some etch primer on these wheels. Here we are then, we're back and as you can see, absolutely filled fit because we've been on with a few other bits. So, these are now all etch primed and high bill primed. This wheel face here really isn't working. So, we've given up with that one. Um, I went over last night and collected the barrels from Jared, who has very, very kindly stripped them for me. And they are on here now. And we've got to work on the next stage of them. The... Uh, I've done that one. So yeah, anyway, that's them bits I've done. Um, me, Rich and uh, Leon spent about an hour and a half last night drilling out, I think it was four or five bolts for the one, the wheel, the fifth wheel or the fourth of the set um, where the bolts had snapped in. We managed to drill them out and get the face off because the face is better than the other face. I've taken that up to Jared. He isn't in today. He's going to be stripping that for me tomorrow. Um, but what we need to do now is start polishing the lips um, of these barrels up because we want the lips to be um, chrome. We want them to be mirror polished. Um, then the centers are painted and then we'll paint the barrels and the insides as well. Um, so yeah, the way we are going to be doing that is gonna be, um, we're gonna go over first with the DA with some 180 grit sandpaper on it and some 240 grit sandpaper just to try and get some of this pitting out. We're not gonna get all of it out, but to try and get some of the pitting out and try and sort of flat the wheel down a little bit to try and get it um, 
yeah, a bit flatter, so that when we polish it, you don't see it as much. We're not going to get all of them out, like I say. So we'll go 180, 240 on the DA first. Then we'll go in with wet and dry sandpaper, um, 3M wet and dry, which you basically just use a bit of water for. Spray water on, and then you sand that. And we'll go, I think we've done 320, 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 2,000, 3,000 tries act. Um, and then we've got a three-stage polishing kit that I've bought as well, which uses two different compound polishes um, on a soft mop. That's the finishing mop. Um, this one's the first one that cuts a bit more. Second pro, second one, and then a third and final soft one. And I've already done some. So this one is fresh from being stripped. And then after about an hour of sanding, you end up with that. So we've got mirror polished, you can see reflection in it. They are not by any means absolutely spot on, um, but I think you'll agree that that looks a lot better than that. So that's mirror polished um, and we've gone round the lip as well so that when the tie's on, it'll look right. So we've done three. We've got the fourth one to do now, which is the one it's got the crack in just there um but we're going to continue anyway get this one all sanded up get it all polished up get it up to the same level as the other ones and then when we take it for welding we'll just have to clean that little area back sand it back um or grind it back flush and then we shall do the same process in that little area again but it's done um which means i can then move on to cleaning the wheels up and starting to paint the barrels hopefully um anyway right gopro out let's carry on sanding As you can see, it is an absolutely filthy job and I'm absolutely covered. When you sand in with the uh, sander and you sand in dry, you're not wet and dry in. Um, put, make sure you've got a mask on because all the fibres in the air, all the bits of metal in the air are getting your lungs and are not very good for you. When you're wet and dry in, you should be okay because the water keeps it all out of the air, but you still end up covered like I am. So we've got all four of the wheels now, the one down on the floor just there. All of them are now done. That one's purposefully on the floor because that's the one that's got to go and be welded, so I don't want to be doing primer as i have on these three on that one and it's different because it's a different kind of etch primer um i didn't want to go putting any paint on that and it coming off with the heat all that lot we've polished it we'll leave that now until bob can have a look at that one tomorrow um these have been etch primed like i say these wheel faces excluding that one that is no good have now been sanded um or yeah sort of sanded back so it was all the high build primer i'm not high build primer in the barrels because I've not got enough. I've got enough to do the fourth face when we get that one back, and I'd rather that looks good than the barrels. Um, so what I've done, or some of you may have already guessed, I don't think I've mentioned it, what colour we're going to be painting the faces? We're going to be painting the faces gold, obviously. I think everyone saw that coming. So I did a bit of research um, and looked through on a load of forums and was told that the closest match to the BBS colour was BBS, or sorry, Subaru GK1, um, which is the closest to the BBS gold, as far as I'm aware. So, I've mixed some of that up. We've cleaned them down. I've blown it all down. I just need to go and unlock the door and put the fan on. And then we'll get some colour on these wheel faces. And then hopefully we'll be able to chuck some clear on. And the clear that I'm going for is um, semi-gloss. So, we're going for sort of a satin finish. Not a gloss finish, just because it makes the wheel pop a little bit more, apparently. So, 
let's get on with that. morning it was a bit more youthful today realized that the bum fluff if you like was um not meaning that the mask didn't steal around your face properly i mean you were sort of breathing in the fumes so yeah shave that off a bit to hopefully get the mask to seal a little bit more for when we're painting these barrels in a minute but the wheel faces are painted so they're hardly a1 perfect but they're looking a hell of a lot better the problem we've got with these, they were never going to be perfect without spending days and days and days trying to sort them out. Because the, even the faces that weren't as bad as this one were still heavily corroded, heavily pitted. Um, and I've high bill primed them. I've put a little bit of filler in a couple of them as well, just to try and sort them out. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not really a lot I can do. They're going to look a hell of a lot better than they did. And it's going to be better than running replica wheels. So the next thing we want to do is start painting these barrels. Now, I only had uh, gloss black paint left and Rich only had silver paint left. And we were talking and he suggested, why don't you paint them like an anthracite colour? So what we've done is mix the two together and made sort of an anthracite colour. It's, yeah like a dark grey so that's what colour we're going to be painting on um no more talking let's clear up move the barrels down the bottom get the fan on throw some paint on them So I've been and picked up the wheel face from Jared, um, who's done a great job of stripping it. Thank you very, very much, mate. It's in a better condition than the other one. It's not amazing, it's not perfect, but that one has now been basically and cleared. Bob from the machine shop in Hinkley has also repaired the face on the barrel or the lip on the barrel, which is absolutely perfect. I've sanded it up, polished it up, and it looks absolutely amazing. That has now been based and cleared as well. So they're gonna sit there and dry for a little bit. We've got the other three wheels that we can make a start on bolting together. Um, so let's throw the time lapse on and start bolting them ones up. So, three of the wheels are bolted together. We're still leaving 
that one down there because I'm still not happy. It's still not quite dry enough. I'd rather leave it until sort of tomorrow or the day after um, and we'll bolt that together when it is nice and dry instead of getting bits or fingerprints or whatever in the paint. But let's show you these finished wheels. Check those bad boys out. Look how good they look. Now, as I say, they are by no means A1 perfect. Um, we've still got a bit of sort of pitting in these rims. On oh, this one's pretty bad, to be fair. Um, and yeah, they are hardly perfect, but they look a hell of a lot better than they did before. And the colour that we've got on the barrels as well, so nice. It's got like a brown tinge to it. Um, and it just, it ties in really well with the gold. And we've thrown in the little red centre caps as well, which will just time into the paintwork on the car. And I think the polished lip, the gold and the red on that car are gonna look absolutely amazing. They're hardly perfect, like I say, I keep saying, but they look a hell of a lot better than they did before. So that one, we're gonna leave down there just to go off for a little bit. These are sat here ready for the tires, which I've ordered and we'll be here next week. So I'll be able to get those thrown on. I just wanna say a massive, massive thank you to Breakwell's Paints for supplying me with the gold to paint the wheels. Um, a massive thank you to Jared at Fix a Wheel for helping me out and stripping the wheel. And a massive thank you to Bob at the machine shop for welding that wheel up for me. I really, really do appreciate all of your help. So I'm now gonna go and hook the trailer up to the car, get it ready for in the morning because we're gonna head over to Shine Supply and pick the car back up. And then in the next episode, we'll continue getting the car put together and running as well because we've not had that one yet um, with the new wheels on because we've got one week today that the car has got to be finished, ready for early edition. So yeah, it's going to be a big week. So hopefully you've enjoyed that one then, guys. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>